It has been three hours since the polls closed where people were actually able to go to the polls and vote in person for the primary election. And it's a very close race for many of the candidates. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner joins us live now from a reaction from one of the candidates about their hopes for what is coming next. Brittany. Yeah, Jamie, well, this evening, Wes Moore, who's a Democratic candidate running for governor, says part of his mission is to leave no one behind, and he's hoping everyone gets behind him to elect him as the next governor of Maryland. Now, as far as the governor's race is concerned, right now there are three top contenders up for the Democratic nomination. Wes Moore is one of them. So far, part of his campaign has been promoting work, wages, and wealth as part of his focus for Marylanders, saying that he wants to create more equitable communities while making sure everyone has access to jobs and, again, no one is left behind. He has not served in elected office before, but he is a veteran, and so far his campaign has raised more than $2.5 million. Tonight he had an election night gathering where we are at right now and there are many people here supporting him as the next governor. Uh, those votes again are still being counted this evening. Right now it shows Westmore is leading in the race for the governor on the Democratic side. And I'm just going to pull up this interactive map that we've been telling you about all day. We're going to have uh, Fred, our photographer, zoom in on this. You can see right now it shows Westmore leading by 37 percent. That's uh, a total of 42 percent that's been reported already. That means there's uh, around uh, over 100,000 votes that have been counted. Again, um, those Again, those are um, some of the tallies that have been, votes have been tallied already. Those mail-in ballots, however, won't be tallied until tomorrow, but we're going to keep you updated concerning this election and what's happening here on WMAR2news.com. And make sure you check out our website for that interactive map. You can see who's leading in each of the races and where. So for now, reporting live, Brittany Verner, WMAR2news. All right, Brittany.